How the first few weeks on the new job been? Uh, they've been good. You know, we've uh, just got out of recruiting and, and being on the road. Um, obviously finishing up this last class, but really looking forward to this this next class. So that part's been good. Um, you know, having a full staff and, and, and having that be aligned coming into the office this week has been great. Uh, getting a chance to really dive into some more football stuff this week has been really good. Um, but it's been it's been a lot of fun. You know, uh, there has been a lot that we've had to you know sort through and, and, and get aligned. Um, but but this is the time I think we've all been looking forward to is is really buckling down and, and getting in the office and um, you know start casting the vision for for what will be this next season. For you personally, what do you feel like will be the biggest adjustment from what you were doing before to what you'll be doing now? Yeah, there will be some adjustments uh, when it comes to, obviously, the position I'm coaching, uh, taking over the quarterbacks. Uh, you know, it, I think anytime you're, you're transitioning and coaching a new position, there, there's a lot to that of uh, making sure that, that you're dialed in to exactly what that position group needs, um, what those individuals in that room need, uh, and what that position group has to do to be successful. And, and that was the same when I – uh, was was going from running backs to receivers, and you know the, the, there's obviously um, a, a great level of importance with that when, when coaching the quarterbacks. Um, obviously, my excitement for it is having played the position and, and having some familiarity and some background with it. Um, so that being one of the parts, I think uh, you know we, we've obviously added new uh, staff members to the offensive side of the ball, and so the biggest thing that, that we have to do is do a great job of getting on the same page. Um, understanding exactly where we're going and how we intend on getting there. And so that, that part has been, again, it's been really fun because of the type of men uh, that I get a chance to lead alongside of and, and work with. But, you know, that, that's obviously an adjustment and a, a part for our entire staff that we've had to adjust to. Hey, Coach, just for the uh, kind of offense as a whole, what is so exciting about the addition of Jaden and how do you see him potentially making an impact early? Yeah, Jaden Higgins, we were really excited about him and his background and obviously the production he's had. But truthfully, he's the type of kid that you get around and you felt like instantly fits this culture. And he's a hard worker. Um, he cares about his teammates. He wants to improve and get better. And he, he has some of those traits of the guys who have come into this program and been really, really successful. And so obviously for him, man, there's, there's a long road of getting to know um, man, what it is that, that he's going to be asked to do on, on our offense. Um, man, understanding formations, plays, all that, that comes with playing his position. Um, but, but his character and who he is is going to give him a great chance um, because he does have, have some you know, uh, ability to go and make plays at receiver. And he's shown to do that, obviously, at this level, um, which gives you a level of confidence already walking in. In what ways do you want the quarterback position to improve from last year and you being the former quarterback, how do you go about ensuring that that happens? Yeah, I think uh, when it comes to the quarterback position, seeing it done well here at Iowa State, um, man, it's, it's critical for our success. You know, I, I, I don't think that there's ever been a time where we've played really good football without the quarterback playing consistently. And, you know, so, so I think that's the excitement of it is that, man, if we can do that really well, I, I think it'll give us a chance as a team, um, you know, to, to, to go out and execute at a high end um, and, and ultimately have the type of season that, that we're all hoping for. Now, obviously there's a lot on the quarterback's plate. Uh, there's a lot that we ask that guy to do um, from understanding what's going on uh, formationally, pass game, run game, we, we put a lot on that guy's plate. And so they have to understand uh, big picture knowledge of, of not only what our offense is, but, but the defense that, that we're playing against. And so, um, man, I think moving forward, it, it, you know, again, it's, it's early on in the off season for us. Um, but the consistency executing throughout a game, uh, it's a challenge at quarterback that you can play a game and, and play really, really well for 90% of the snaps. And if those 10% of the snaps that, that you don't play well really, really hurt you as an offense and hurt you as a team, they can cost you games. And you know that, that's the reality of the position. And so I think that's, that's probably the biggest part is looking for that consistency um, as much as anything moving forward from that position uh, for our entire offense. Is Hunter that guy for you right now, or do you throw it over? Yeah, no, it's, it's a, I think for everybody going into this offseason, there's high competition. Hunter obviously has the most reps and you know I look back on his film and 
man, there's a lot of really, really good things that he did. Um, there's a lot that gives you confidence as a coach that he can go out there and have a, honestly, have an incredible season. Um, there's a lot that he has to work through. There's a lot that he has to grow. And, and I think everybody feels, you know, the pressure and the burden of that. Um, but I think the reps that he was able to um, work through last year, man, I know at that position it makes you a lot better. Uh, to have year one and season one and to go through tough moments, uh, not only does he sit there and realize, hey, man, yeah, I probably should have played a different side of the play because that was one high versus two high, um, but he realizes what the what life is like being a power five division one quarterback and you know the, the the weight that you carry with that and i think that as much as anything is having gone through adversity like he went through um can allow him to grow and and sometimes you know that those are the type of lessons you can only learn from it by going through it and i'm, I'm excited to see his progress um even coming out of that uh for, from again from the mental mentality side, um, even as much as the physical reps that he got. What has the rest of the staff done to kind of make you more comfortable in your new role? You said, what have they done to make me more comfortable? Yeah. Um, man, they're, they're, first of all, I'd say this, they've been uh, sharp in, in just their understanding and awareness of both their position and offensive scheme in general. Um, I think being able to be around them, again, uh, through the interview process, um, you know, the, the conversations that, that we have had, um, even in the last couple of weeks recruiting to, to get in the office this last couple of days, um, man, it's encouraging because you've got guys that really, really understand their position. Um, but not only that, they're able to zoom out and understand the big picture of offense. And um, there's a similar identity to how they feel the offense should look and what we're going to have to do to be successful um, and how we got to go about getting those things done. So, so that part's given me a lot of confidence. And then honestly, I've had fun with them. They're, they're it's a fun crew to work with. Um, you know, we're like-minded in a lot of ways and, and that comes from cultural standpoint to family, to relationships with players and that as much as anything, um, you know, working with people that you, uh, you agree with their values and you agree with, um, the things that, that they believe in, it, it makes it fun to come to work every day. And so I've, I've really enjoyed that part of them as well. You touched on it a little bit, your experience as a quarterback helping probably coach quarterbacks. But I wonder the value you learned, you know, as a player, you probably had things that motivated you intrinsically, extrinsically, and, and reading that in each player, whether it be Hunter or anyone on staff, how, how much does your experience playing it and coaching to this point help you you know, learn what buttons to push and how to best motivate people on an individual basis. You're right. Everybody's different. And um, to, to figure out the wiring of, of each player is really important, especially at the quarterback spot. Um, you know, it's, it, it's critical. And, and that relationship from coach to player and player to coach and, and the trust that has to be built up, um, it's 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 important. It's important from a position coach. It's important from um, you know the coordinator standpoint. Obviously, it's important from uh, Coach Campbell as a head coach in, in that relationship with the quarterback. And so, um, yeah, I, I I think it's important to dive deep again, even deeper than the scheme and the understanding of plays. Um, but it, but as much as anything, for them to be on the same page as me, for me to be on the same page as them, um, for me to know in a game, you know what what emotions are going on in a in a player as he steps out there and um, the, the, the type of play that fits him in that moment is, is again, it's important as the X's and O's drawing up and, and being able to make sense. Um, you know, so, so those parts, again, it's, it's the game within the game, um, but it's critical. It's, it's, uh, it's an important part of, of coaching that position. And, and again, for our success, uh, we, we've got to be dialed into what that guy is and, and what he does well. How does your role change, if at all? in recruiting, uh, going from position coach to coordinator? Um, man, that's a, that's a good question. And uh, what I would say is, is my excitement, um, even since coming here to Iowa State, is, is you know, being able to make a big impact in recruiting and, and doing that because of my belief in building relationships. And so um, you know, that, that has been important in an area, um, the areas that I'm responsible for recruiting. Um, as well as the positions that I'm responsible for recruiting. And now, uh, again, as an offensive coordinator, really being able to 
uh, cast a vision for the entire offense of of you know not only the the skill set that each of those positions have and and what those players um, should look like and in, in, in the skill set that they should have, uh, but the type of men that we want to have in that locker room and the type of men we want to have on that side of the ball. And again, that's that's been easy to figure out, obviously, with Coach Campbell setting the vision of, of our culture and just where it's at um, through his time here. Um, but, but honestly, just getting it, uh, getting a chance to dive in even deeper uh, from position to position. And again, players want to know all the time. They want to know who they're playing for. They want to know from the head coach standpoint, from the coordinator on either side of the ball, and their position coach. Th those things are always going to be important um, in recruiting. That That's 20 years ago to right now to 20 years from now in recruiting. I, I know it's the landscape constantly changes, but that's a factor. And um, I, I still think as much as anything, the thing that has allowed us to recruit the way we've had is, is I feel like we've had kids that have wanted to come here to play for us as coaches. And that's a, that's a key element to it. And, and that'll be a, a, for sure a, a foundational element of how we recruit on offense is, is building a relationship. And obviously me as a coordinator being at the forefront of that. What have you seen so far in like the last couple of weeks in Arlen Harris since he got here? And what you're seeing right now, how's he maybe a little different of a, a guy or player since you recruited him out of high school? Yeah, it's still probably early to tell you um, exactly what his skill set is. What, what I would say is I remember the first time when I saw him down in the weight room, um, I was probably more impressed with uh, maybe his size um, and, and just – uh, even the way that he moved for his size. And so that part's been encouraging. Again, they've really been down in the weight room. Um, they've been in the indoor working out. So so they haven't done a whole lot of football stuff, a whole lot of football movement when it comes to the running back position. But, um, yeah, I, I felt like when I first walked down to the weight room and saw him, I mean, he was doing some pull-ups. And I was like, that guy looks the part. You know, he, he, he definitely looks the part. And so um, that's one side of it. I, I mean, I just – Looked at his grades this morning, and uh, I mean, he had A's across the board, which, you know, again, it, it says a lot about his character, um, the things that are important to him, how he values uh, just, just man, academics, who he is in the classroom. Um, again, he's, he's, I think the reason he fell in love with this place is the culture and the people that he was going to get a chance to be around. And so um, you've really seen him dive into that in the first couple of weeks, which is, you know, which is really all we're asking those guys to do right now is, is to dive into who they are and who they're becoming in the weight room, developing, um, as well as, man, this team and this culture and, and what we're all about. And he's done a great job with that. What's a Nate Shieldhouse offense going to look like? Man, I expect to be physical in the run game and explosive in the pass game. Um, you know, I think efficiency in, in both of those realms is really, really important to run good, sound plays um, that are going to consistently get us yards and ultimately create opportunities to create explosive plays. You know, I think uh, the, the, the benefit that I have from being here is really knowing the things that have allowed this place to be successful. And um, that goes offense, defense, special teams, and, and the team in general. Um, but I think you know, seeing our place at its best and, and what it's been able to do, uh, those have been the elements of the offense. And you know, obviously, there will be some changes schematically. Uh, there will be some stuff. Again, it's been really cool having coaches that come from different backgrounds and have different experiences that, that are able to bring that to the table. And obviously, being able to share experiences from different times uh, in my own career has, has been really cool to, to bring to the table. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, yeah, we th there's a there's a certain way that that man the Iowa State offense in this conference um, has to look, and, and us starting off by being physical in the run game, um, us being able to create explosive plays in the pass game, um, has given us a great recipe for success, and so we got to dial that up and, and figure out the best ways to do that. The highest profile part of your job, or at least the most public, is play calling. How do you approach that, and how do you prepare for that? as a coach, I guess. Yeah, you know, you're exactly right. Um, you know, I, I would say this, that the, the other blessing that you get as a coach is you get these opportunities in, in spring practice to really um, dive into what that will look like for us uh, as an offense. And so, um, you know, th those are great opportunities to, to just be able to sit back and, and figure out the best ways that we're going to go about that, the best ways that I'm going to feel comfortable um, in a game day environment to be able to do that. You know, you, you're not getting out there in September and being like, all right, let's try this out today. And, uh, you know, having that in spring ball, having that in fall camp, um, 
you know, and, 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 and honestly, it's, it's been really cool to sit back and, and to see the behind the scenes stuff and, and to always, I think for every coach, you know, you're, you're, you're obviously, you're, you're thinking about, man, what, what would I do in this position? I mean, shoot, you're sitting there watching the NFL games and it probably changes the way that you watch those a little bit. Man, what would I do? It's second and two and you got the ball across the 50. What, what would be the decision I'd make here? And, and so, um, I, again, I think there will be, be a bunch of great opportunities in the next seven months leading up to, um, you know, leading up to this fall, you know, that, that I think will um, just, just bring great opportunities to grow and, and great opportunities to, to get ready for those, uh, you know, those 12 Saturdays this fall. Yeah, we had, I mean, I think from, you know, I had the blessing and curse of, of as a player playing for multiple offensive coordinators. You know, the, the blessing of it in this spot is, man, there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat and a lot of different ways of, of operating. So, yeah, in different offenses, there were opportunities to, to make decisions at the line of scrimmage um, in a two-minute drill to figure out the best place to run. Um, you know, and, and so there, there has been a part of it as much as anything. Um, you, you kind of said it is, is like the quarterback's involvement in that and, and just what that guy can handle, I think, is an important under, understanding for, for an offensive coordinator. And that probably changed and, and, you know, had some ebb and flow to it just during my career, um, you know, as a player. Uh, you, you, you learn as you go and, and you know, you, you probably know a whole lot more as a, as a senior, even if it is a different offense that you're running, um, you know, just as that time goes on. What does Coach Clanton bring to the equation that you like about him? And, and then how valuable is it to have several guys on that will be around you that have been offensive coordinators and, and head coaches? Yeah, it's it's your your second point is huge. And, and I'll dive into that after I talk about Coach Clanton. But um, man, Coach Clanton has been a an awesome addition. And, and again, it started off with, man, we we're looking for a high character individual um, that that put relationships at a premium and um, you know, felt like we aligned to not only the Iowa State culture, but the offensive culture. And, you know, he, he knocked it out of the park in all those realms. And then I think obviously the development that, that, you know, what he's been able to do from developing players and developing offensive linemen uh, is second to none. And so we were really excited about adding him in. And then, you know, again, schematically, um, man, he's, he's really, really sharp when it comes to run game, when it comes to protection, he's, he's obviously, he's had to do more um, than just be an, an offensive line coach. He's had to think big picture as a coordinator. And I think bringing in those, those elements as well um, ha have been really cool to see. And, and to see, you know, the, the way that he views it through his lens of, of offensive line play has been really helpful. And then, and then what you said, um, that was a big part for me was surrounding myself with, um, Surrounding myself with a staff that had unique experiences that that really could help us put something together, uh, to, to to not just man be really really good position coaches, but for us to put together an offense that could be really successful. And adding uh, coaches with coordinator experience, adding coaches with head coaching experience, um, was was an important part of that. And so I've been really pleased with how that's come together, and 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 just again their viewpoint and, and how it's helped me even already.